Hi gang, Eric here again, AC9BX, with a computer issue this time. When I first acquired my Lenovo IdeaPad 330S, I quickly discovered getting Linux running was a bit of a challenge. Issues include hanging forever at boot, no or erratic display, no touchpad, and no Wi-Fi. I spent a little time reading various Linux and Lenovo forums. It said distros 18.10 and newer are required as kernel 4.15 or earlier is not compatible, however that may not be the case. For some, kernel 4.18 and later may work. For me, even with kernel 5 in 19.10, the touchpad would not work. I tested only with Zubuntu 19.10, but I read they all had similar troubles and solutions. This should work for Ubuntu and variants 18.10 and newer, Manjaro, Fedora, Mint with recent kernels. The next issue is with Windows 10, build 19.03 on later firmware. Windows takes over UEFI, and you cannot press F2 for setup, nor F12 for the boot menu, and the Novo button won't help. To access the UEFI settings, one must go through Windows Recovery. Click Start, Settings, Update and Security, Recovery, under Advanced, click Restart Now. And Recovery options appear. Choose Troubleshoot, Advanced Options, UEFI Settings, and the machine reboots to the setup. We see Secure Boot is enabled. Go to the Security tab and down to Reset to Setup Mode, which disables Secure Boot and readies the machine to accept a new system. On the Boot tab, I'm moving the USB device to the top. Save and Exit. However, even though I chose to boot from USB, Windows still starts first. Again, we need to choose Recovery Options. This time, however, we select Use a Device. Available devices appear. I'm choosing the first USB. And the Ubuntu Grub menu appears. We need to press E right away to edit Grub parameters, down to the Linux line and over to where we read Quiet. We insert No Mode Set so Linux won't load display drivers. I'm choosing to optionally delete Quiet so it will show the boot up messages scroll by. Insert ACPI equals No, then IVRS underscore IOAPIC bracket 32 end bracket equals 00 colon 14 dot 0. Press F10 to continue booting and Zubuntu Live boots up. We see Wi-Fi is working, the touchpad is working, and we can install. Now it's installed and working, however, the display is glitchy. So let's open a terminal, sudo, I'm using mousepad to edit grub. Again, inserting no mode set and removing quiet. Save. Then we update grub and reboot. Now it runs as it should. Good luck.